After you've spent all of five minutes in the world of coffee, you'll hear myriad terms and techniques thrown around. It can feel like learning a new language. One of the first terms you're bound to hear if you're focused on espresso is pre-infusion. So what does it really mean? Pre-infusion refers to the process of gently soaking the puck of coffee in your portafilter before applying the full desired brewing temperature. The goal is to evenly saturate the ground so that the entire bed has the same amount of water flowing through it once the extraction begins. In practice, this works quite well. When we've tested shots pulled with pre-infusion versus shots pulled without, we notice significantly fewer instances of channeling. That's when water finds a path of low resistance and flows through it, avoiding nearby grounds. This over-extracts that channel and leaves surrounding areas under-extracted. This benefit is just as handy for new baristas as it is for professionals. When you're just starting out, it's really helpful to have something that evens out inconsistencies in the grounds in your portafilter. This is the same reason we recommend St. Anthony Industries' Wedge Distributor Tool. Even once you've spent years as a barista, there's no reason not to employ a technique that helps you ensure you get a consistent extraction every time. You'll find pre-infusion at its simplest in machines with the classic E61 group head design, like our Luca M58. By lifting the brew lever part way, the path between the machine's water inlet and the group head is opened. But the key here is that the machine's pump is not turned on. This allows the passive line pressure of the water line to push water from the boiler to the puck of coffee at the group head. Line pressure is much less than the nine bars that the pump will apply, evenly and gently saturating the puck. Most baristas will apply pre-infusion for somewhere between two and eight seconds before lifting the lever all the way, engaging the pump. That design only works for direct plumb machines. Reservoir machines without the benefit of line pressure have to use different methods to accomplish pre-infusion. Take for example the Luca A53 Mini, one of very few reservoir machines capable of pre-infusion. It uses a specially designed chamber with a piston and spring that attaches like a dead end to the route between the boiler and the group head. When you start your shot, that path is opened and the pump turns on to begin pushing water. Some of that water will head down the dead end and push against the piston, diverting some of the pump's pressure away from the puck of coffee. Once the spring behind that piston is fully compressed, full pressure is then directed towards the puck. While the method here is quite different, the end result is almost identical to the gentle pre-infusion you'd get with a direct plumb machine. Beyond pre-infusion lies a world of complexity and experimentation. Things like flow or pressure profiling can be seen as the next evolution of pre-infusion. We'll have more on that in a future video. If you now have a clearer understanding of pre-infusion, be sure to hit the like button. If you have any other questions, I'd be glad to field them in the comments below. For more coffee knowledge, tamp subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.